the IMAX folks came to us and said they were producing a film that would chronicle the history of Hubble and with a special emphasis on servicing mission four. They also wanted to show Hubble imagery, plus they wanted to pull them out into 3D. That was an incredibly exciting project that we just couldn't pass up. We weren't just doing one image for this movie. We were doing nine different images in our three minute segment that we created here. One of my primary tasks with the Hubble project is to produce color images from Hubble Space Telescope data. Cameras on the Hubble are black and white cameras. They don't produce color pictures. So we take that data that's intended for scientific analysis and we produce photographs from those data. If you're looking at a real three-dimensional object, you have the opportunity to go around it to see all sides of it. But in this case, we're only seeing one side of this thing. So we have to only, inf we can only infer what's around the corner. I'm kind of unofficially known as the cleaner. I will go through and pixel for pixel, take out anything that should not be there, scan the image to make sure that there are no artifacts that are uh, imparted by the telescope. They're not really there in outer space in the 3D project. One of my primary objectives was to take the image and split it into separate layers so that all the foreground stars had to be removed and put into a separate layer. Those stars were then separated into separate layers. So you had stars that were really, really close, stars that were in the middle, stars that were in the back. Everything attached to the main object was now set in a second layer. There was sections of the object that were supposed to be a little bit closer, stuff that was in the middle, stuff that was in the background. And then anything that was in the very background had to be into a third layer. My role in the IMAX 3D movie was to build a 3D model of the Orion Nebula. Hubble only takes 2D pictures, and so we actually had to carve what we thought it would look like, and then reshaping the geometry. Because the geometry overall was a flat grid, and then from that grid it was actually made into three dimensions. It was a team effort in terms of like, Lisa would pull out the stars in the image, Zolt would separate the nebula in the image, uh, Greg would work on getting the 3D model. I was doing the camera work and doing some of the rendering and such. And so because we had such a small team and so many tasks to do, each member was a critical part of the team. You needed to work every single aspect of it to make it believable and make it uh, true to what the scientists felt the actual object looked like. Looking at the Hubble images, there's a, there's a level you can see them as a visual object and you can be inspired by that. If you learn a little bit about what those objects are, then it draws you in kind of in a, another dimension. It's not a physical dimension, but it's another dimension of understanding. And now with the 3D aspect of it, it literally brings that third dimension into the picture. 